five simple ways to raise capital for your small business in Africa in 2024. Small businesses have the advantage of growing organically, but they still need funding to help them find their way. You may need to hire some help before you have the profits necessary to do so, or make payroll before you've been paid on a project. You may have to purchase inventory equipment or commit to retail space for some period of time. So how might you do that? Here are five simple ways to raise capital for your small business in Africa in 2024. Number one, your own job. Just like a startup, it's very common for founders to put in their own capital to get a small business going. This could come from savings so you can go full-time right away. But it can also be a surplus salary that you can use while you moonlight working on your business. If you have a steady 9 to 5 job, you may not only have a little extra cash, but a few hours each day to dedicate to a project on the site. That flexibility can be invaluable in the early days. Please, don't go away. Keep watching. Hi, my name is Rofo Chifo. And thank you so much for watching. If you ever intend to invest in Africa, then I'll advise you to download my books on Amazon. These books are tools that's going to help you get started on the African continent. The first one right here is the business ideas for every African country. And the second one right here is the African business startup brain box. In this book, you are going to find the cost estimated timeline and the procedures of creating companies in every African country. So you see, if you intend to invest in Africa, then you must have one of these tools. Don't go away. Keep watching the Business in Africa YouTube channel. Number two, friends and family. Also like in a startup, founders may be able to raise some money from friends and family who are willing to risk some of their assets. Number three, a service component in your business. Many upfront costs come when you are selling products as opposed to services. Equipment or inventory purchases can precede revenue significantly. Services, on the other hand, can be profitable right away with very little upfront expense required. Savvy entrepreneurs have a great opportunity to use a service side of the business to fund another more capital intensive portion. Number four, angel investors. Though angels are more traditionally thought of as startup backers, it's possible to raise money from high net worth individuals for a small business. Angels, because they are investing their own money, have different incentives than venture capitalists and a large exit might be less important to them. Some may be willing to structure their financing as debt as opposed to equity. Number five, bank loans or other debt. There are many different types of small business lenders and debt products for small businesses. Banks, government agencies, online lenders, Credit card companies and microcredit programs are all out there offering term loans, lines of credits, cards, cash advances, invoice financing, and much more. Small business debt is too huge and diverse a topic to cover in any detail here. But as a general rule, try not to take on speculative debt. That means when you take on debt, it should be clear you'll have the cash flows necessary to cover future interests and principal payments. As a final note, not all businesses are created equal, but that doesn't mean one type is better than the other. The market your business competes in is potential for growth. And perhaps most importantly, your own goals with your business will dictate the type of funding you should go for. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Keep watching the Business in Africa YouTube channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Please, don't go away. Keep watching. Hi, 
My name is Rofo Chifo, and thank you so much for watching. If you ever intend to invest in Africa, then I'll advise you to download my books on Amazon. These books are tools that's going to help you get started on the African continent. The first one right here is the business ideas for every African country. And the second one right here is the African business startup brain box. In this book, you are going to find the cost, estimated timeline, and the procedures of creating companies in every African country. So you see, if you intend to invest in Africa, then you must have one of these tools. Don't go away. Keep watching the Business in Africa YouTube channel. Please, don't go away. Keep watching. Hi, my name is Rofo Chifo, and thank you so much for watching. If you ever intend to invest in Africa, then I'll advise you to download my books on Amazon. These books are tools that's going to help you get started on the African continent. The first one right here is the business ideas for every African country. And the second one right here is the African business startup brain box. In this book, you are going to find the cost estimated timeline and the procedures of creating companies in every African country. So you see, if you intend to invest in Africa, then you must have one of these tools. Don't go away. Keep watching the Business in Africa YouTube channel.